Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. I have a question for you. How can we possibly save money with lower wages and rising inflation? Let's get started and talk about it. First disclaimer, you guys know I'm not a financial analyst. This is just information from my personal experience and from doing some research. So always do your own research. So one thing I'm gonna share with you is I did a little research on rent, okay? Many of you may know this, I am from Woodbury, a suburb of St. Paul. I graduated college in 87. I moved to Dallas, Texas in 1988. My rent for my apartment back then for a one bedroom, one bath was $300 a month, okay? If you put that in the inflation calculator of what it should cost nowadays, I don't remember the exact figure, but it was 700 and something. So, what is the average one bedroom in Dallas cost now? $1,598, which has, that means that it has gone up over 500%. What does somebody currently need to make, according to the figures that I read, in order to afford that? They would need to make around $24 an hour or $48,000 a year. And many people don't make that, especially if they're single. There are some that do, depending on the job but many do not, so it would be a real challenge. So, wages we know have not kept up. In Texas, our minimum wage is $7.25. Now, I don't know anyone that makes it. Most jobs pay more than that, but I do know of some people that might make $8.50 to $8.75 or $9, and they sure would not be able to afford an apartment like that or live out on their own. They may be able to rent a home with a whole bunch of people and, and chip in rent that way, but it does make it tough. Back in the 80s, I was able, and many of us, to be able to make 10 bucks an hour and live out on their own. That is no longer definitely the case. So one of the things that one of my friends has told me is this, that yes, there's many jobs that are hiring out there, but many of them are service jobs. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, there's no higher calling than serving someone. But unfortunately, a lot of them don't offer benefits because they don't have full time and they don't pay all that well. So you can get a job, but you may not be able to live out on your own and take care of all your needs. That's why many people are living at home with their parents or families are living together. You know, it's sharing a household. You know, you have grandparents and, and people sharing that more now, nowadays than maybe you did a few years ago. So what can we do about this? You know I'm all about the action. What can we do? One thing a lot of people are doing that I know, number one, be grateful for the job you have, especially if it offers benefits and stay put. You know, about a year, year and a half, two years ago, many people were quitting their jobs because they were unhappy. Nothing wrong with that. But right now, I know a lot of people that are just staying put, even if their job's stressful, because they know that they may not be able to get a job that pays what their job currently is paying, and they know they can pay their bills on what they have, so they're just staying put. Number two, we all know this one, find ways to you know, cut your spending any way that you can, pay off debt if you can, and save what you can. Number three, and this is big, we've talked about this, get healthier any way you can. I say that because everyone's situation is different. So, you know, I don't know what works for you, but if you are not in great health with for a variety of reasons, maybe you're not as mobile, maybe you do need to lose or gain weight. It could be anything. If you can find ways to become a healthier version of you, that does make us more employable out in the workforce. Number four, Find ways to make extra money. If you have a hobby, find a way that you can make money from it. I actually know several people that pet sit, babysit. You know, I know people that, you know, cook and bake for people, meal prep for people. There's all different ways to make money. That's what's good about nowadays versus when I grew up is there's so many ways nowadays to make money, which is a really positive thing. Okay. So this is basically what I wanted to share with you guys today about this is that I know things might look gloom and I'll be honest with you, I sometimes get a little depressed about it because I used to make more money, but realize there are a lot of opportunities out there and we just have to get creative. 
And I'll tell you, back in 2009, when the economy wasn't doing so good, I had my coupon group. But we kind of changed it a little bit. We got together, we shared our resources with each other, and we shared helpful information with each other. And so it was wonderful. If we all started doing that, you know, got together with people, shared our resources, bartered, you'd have a lot less waste out there, and people would be helping each other. Because we all... I don't care what you're doing now. We all have something to contribute. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. I know things look gloomy, but what are some of your fabulous tips of how we can handle this? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.